don't like your body language there. I don't want to go get my hair feet. I was just wondering why these two women are fist fine and why I made like your sale for I-17. This is a professional wrestling match. They don't want you on the property. They're asking you to leave. Hey everybody, it's Jason Baja here, and I know that I said I was done with fitness for good twice now, and I am a man of my word, but a little birdie told me that my arch nemesis, Lane Nordstrom, was going to be at the Arnold Classic Expo in Ohio today, and you guys know, I want to make sure there's no fist fight and no violence going on, make sure everything's going smoothly, I don't have to paralyze anybody or get my ear for things, that's why the FBI flew me out in a private jet to Columbus, Ohio today, and that is why I'm about to go patrol the Arnold Classic Expo and see for myself what is going on. See you guys inside. Excuse me, son. Do you know what this conflict is, babe? What's that? What's that? This conflict? Why are two women fist fighting? <laughs> All these men here, they're not stepping in to defend them. Where I'm from, Texas, we see two women fist fighting. So, do you want me to step in? I was going to say. What, what is going on? I was just wondering why these two women are fist fighting a lot of men like yourself. We're not saying name. I can't understand you. Is this, um, what, you. Why are they fist fighting? Yeah. This is a professional wrestling match. What's our the conflict? They're trying out to see if they can get on television. It's a tryout. Right, but they a woman just grabbed that woman by her hair. See, where I'm from in Texas, like as a gentleman, I would step in, but I'm trying to figure out what caused the conflict. There isn't a conflict. It's all just a story. It's a story. It's a story. It's a television story. Oh, so there was no conflict? No, it's a story. Oh, that's all I was trying to see. No, no, yeah, no, it's a story. It's it's it, it's it's a it's a predetermined art, if you will. It's like a stunt show. Uh -huh. there's, no, I, I, there's no conflict at all. Yeah. They, these, they probably even know each other. I don't know them, but right. but it, it's it's like it's like it's like a stunt show. Well, they like fooled me. They fooled me. Did they? I, there's I was not about an actual conflict here. Right, because I was about to go get my air for things. Because if you figure look, out no, what no, was no, going no. on. If you if you look. See how these guys are talking stuff over? They're planning stuff to tell a story. It just, you gotta understand if you're doing things like this and getting pretty serious, mm -hmm. people take it seriously. Like where I'm from in Texas, we don't joke around about fist fighting. I understand. Whenever there's a fist fight, there's this is This is a professional wrestling show. Like right. WWE. Like UFC. No, this is not like UFC. That's, that's, that, that's a real fight. This is a predetermined story. Oh. Oh, is she okay? She's fine. He just asked her, are you okay? She said yes. That's all I want to check. I'm sorry to bother no, you. No, no, you're not bothered. I'm explaining it to you because right. if you don't know, I'm, I'll gladly tell you. Right. See, watch. Watch. When they leave, they'll probably even go talk to each other. See how they're going to each other? See if they're okay? See how they're shaking hands? See how they shook yeah. hands? Yeah. All right. What is your name? Jason Blaha. Jason Blaha? Yeah. I'm Johnny. Nice to meet you. So I don't have to get my ear cleaned or anything? Everything's fine? You're good. Everything's all good. All right. You. Have a good day. You too. Mr. Norton. Hey, I like that outfit. Yeah, you remember me, Mr. Norton? Yes, of course. Is it Eric? Is that right? No, almost. Jason. Jason. Jason Waha. I'm a lot bigger in person than my not. Yeah, I know. Right. I just tried me to be like really uh, fat. So you seem to have, you know, what have you been doing for yourself? I'm just a lot bigger in person. This is our first time meeting. Yeah. I just want to come here all the way from Houston, Texas. Texas? Right. I want to let you bring your own reloader with you? My air for thing? Yeah, no, you reload. You want to reload it? Oh, the reload ammo. It is in my vehicle along with my air for thing. If somebody, I don't like somebody's body language, I will go get it. Right. Right. If they're a threat. If they're a threat, right. But is this a standard ground well, state? I, I don't like your body language there. I, I don't want to go get my air for thing. Because I did come here and make peace with you. Oh, well, I'm happy to hear that. After the whole lawsuit, just let bygones be bygones. Okay. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, well, you know. 
We might not have Christmas dinner together, but you know, we, can, uh, we can squash the beef. We were both born on Christmas, right? So you're both born on December 15th. Talk about the fucking random <laughs> So, in all seriousness, the first time I ever found that out, my friend Paul texted me. He's like, dude, what the fuck are the chances of this shit? <laughs> awesome. What's your, what was your name? Eric. Eric. Okay, all right. So I did get it right. I'm all surprised right. you actually know, because like, yeah. we've never met before. No, no, so. I, I, uh, I, I've seen a few videos. People send it to me, you know, like shit. Uh, for sure. Any final words, Mr. Gordon? You no, know, well, Jason, I'm glad we got to squash the beef. I was wondering, do you think you can get me at the farm at Langley? Well, we don't talk about that. Just bringing it up is committing espionage. Uh, so if you bring it up again, I might have to paralyze you or get my air thing. How do you true? So, uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to make peace. Okay. I'll leave it a day. All right. All right. I won't bring up the farm at Langley anymore. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just end it at that. Good meeting you for real, man. This is Jason Fortnite's out <laughs> Holly's probably like, that guy's way too jacked to actually be wrong. Well, he's a lot bigger in person, so it works. <laughs> Should we do a... Uh, okay, look at me, guys. I'm not hurt by you. I'm not hurt by you. I get it. Thanks for stopping by. For sure, man. Uh, have a good one. You too. Holy speech. Hey, buddy, can you come out here and talk to us real quick? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, appreciate it. Did you have an... Uh, with somebody today? Today, definitely not. Okay, well, we were told today. That, today? Yes, I mean, just literally like 10 minutes ago. Uh -huh. um, that there was a group of ladies who asked for you not to film them, and you continued to film them. No, I don't, we don't want to be filmed. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna film myself. That was probably yesterday. I'm not sure, man. They came over and said that you were giving them a hard time today. No, that definitely didn't happen. Okay. We have camera footage of everything. Okay. So this is with Julian Smith. I'm sure you okay. know the name. No. no. Yeah, but we go way back. Yesterday we came to his booth to try to make peace with him. Okay. And then his business partners, everybody at the booth, kept coming up to us, telling okay. us to leave. What booth is that? I believe it's called Arms Race Nutrition. Okay. It's all, right. all the way up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So we were escorted out by security and police yesterday, and they told us that school would come back today. Okay. So that was yesterday. Today we haven't had any problems, so I wouldn't know what they were talking about. Okay. Was it the Arms Race Nutrition booth? So yeah, so they started it up again today. And For, they said, and I don't we know. haven't come up to them, like, right. literally once. Well, I don't. I don't know. They I mean, have complained to the staff and to everybody here, and it has come to the conclusion that they don't want you in the facility anymore. But we haven't gone to that booth today at all, and okay. we weren't going I, to. I, 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 get I, I, I understand that. Yeah. Man. Okay. Like I said, the only thing that I know is they don't want you on on the property anymore. They're asking you to leave. But why would I have to leave if I haven't done anything? Can we yeah. talk to the director or whoever That's is in where it came from. Arms race went to security. Security went to some other guy. I saw the show. Uh, coordinator, he made a call to the, the GM, and the GM said, yes, they're going to have to go. There's only an hour left. We traveled all the way from Texas to come here. I understand. I just don't understand. Like, we haven't gone to their booth at all today. Dude, there's literally 55 minutes. You're not going to miss anything. This Arnold is not like it used to be. We know that. I know, but at the same time, it's kind of fucked up. I'm sure you can agree. I, well, I, I can't agree because I don't know. We weren't there when, when it happened. We're just doing what we were told. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credit Ability, convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power, don't be fucking sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and fuck all the doubters They're just yeah. fucking downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who for all time they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Yeah, they all wanna ring, yeah, we all wanna be free 
So show me what you got, what you bring How you fight in the ring, how you take a fucking swing Do you got heart, are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs, are you willing to go bleed? Since I gave a shout out to all my real fans, shout out to this guy as well who pretended to be a fan. Meanwhile, he was actually in line to talk to Julian Smith and even had the same Karen haircut. Bruh, you lame as fuck.